around Jesus. Three years he was a continuous problem. From the age of 30 till the age of 33, Jesus was a continuous problem. People used to not leave him only. The Pharisees used to not leave him only. The people around him used to not leave him only. They were always waiting to, you know, blame him or prove him wrong or, you know, try to stop his work. But, you know, Jesus at that moment always remained happy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It was very difficult for Jesus. Today what we are going through, what you are going through, what I am going through is nothing compared to what Jesus went through. Hallelujah. Jesus went, Jesus went through worse. Jesus went through extreme, you can say, brothers and sisters. Extreme he went through those three years. And with that extreme, he finished himself. For whom? For you and me. But even through that extreme, you know what he said? Rejoice. Be happy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's why the enemy, your enemy, my enemy, the evil one, you know, the enemy falls down when we rejoice. When we rejoice with the happiness of Jesus, when we rejoice, when we are faithful to Jesus, that's the time the enemy starts going away from us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is not my topic. I was just trying to make everybody happy. I was just trying to tell everybody how Jesus used to be happy. It is very difficult. When you are in, in some problem, when you are in some situation, when you are tensed, when you are worried, you know all those thoughts come into your mind. All, only those thinkings come into your mind. Sometimes you don't even get sleep. Sometimes you are so worried. But you know, this is what the Lord is saying. Rejoice. At every moment rejoice. Be happy. Keep praising me. Keep calling out to me. Keep remembering me. Keep being in my presence. Be my anointing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's why brothers and sisters, today whatever may be our situation, whatever may be our problem, let us just rejoice. And coming to my topic today, let us start directly with my topic. Today my topic is also something very, very similar. Today my topic is also something that we all need to do. There are many of us that don't do, there are some of us that do it, there are some of us just do it 50%. So let us start with my topic today. And today the topic is come into his presence with singing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come into his presence with singing. Now if I break my topic into two parts, brothers and sisters. The Lord is saying, come into my presence. First part is, come into my presence. This is where most of us are lacking today, brothers and sisters. You may be a follower, you may not be a follower. You may be a person that has just heard the name of Jesus. Or you may be a person that throughout your life, you have heard the name of Jesus. You know what is his work. You know the word. You may know everything. But still, if we are lacking the presence of Jesus, then we are nothing brothers and sisters. Today we are Christians. Or today we may be something else. Or today we may be, we may be followers. Whatever it is, today if we are not into His presence, if we are not into His anointing, if we are not surrounded by Him, by His thoughts, by His word, by His actions, then brothers and sisters, we are incomplete. The word of God says we are incomplete. If we are not with the Holy Spirit, we are incomplete. The word of God says, if the Holy Spirit is not with you, you will not be having a relation with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, let us note down each and every small and small tiny word that the word of God says. I said presence. I said Holy Spirit. And I spoke about relationship. Now, if we don't have the presence, there is no relationship. If we don't have the Holy Spirit, there is no relationship. And many of us are lacking this today. 
many many of us even today by coming to god we lack the presence of god hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord what the lord is saying come into his presence there are many of us that fail to come at the feet of jesus there are many many of us if you go to see again if we go back to see what jesus did when jesus came into this earth when jesus was a small boy jesus used to leave everybody he used to leave even his parents he used to leave his brothers yes jesus had brothers and jesus had sisters if you go to read the word of god properly jesus had brothers and sisters later but he left his family he left his friends he left his close people and he should run into the temple and what he should do there he used to go to be into the presence of the lord hallelujah praise the lord not that what am i saying brothers and sisters when jesus was a small boy i'm requesting please brothers and sisters because word of god is going on please don't keep your videos off there are many of you that keep your videos off and you'll go somewhere else roaming i'm asking you please don't do that please keep your videos on like i said even during last time take these zoom retreats seriously because you are at your home don't think you can do whatever you want please i'm requesting you word of god is going on god is speaking here please give it complete 100% respect first we need to respect the word of god we need to be disciplined ourselves that's why i'm requesting please don't do anything else when the word of god is going on if you have something else to do please go out of the zoom retreat you can go out of the zoom retreat if you have anything else to do if you are a busy person you can please leave the zoom retreat and go but please give the word of god complete respect yeah like i was saying the lord is saying come into his presence and when jesus 2000 years back was a small boy from that time onwards jesus taught us to be into the presence and as he kept growing as he started his ministry he used to go to places he used to go to each place alone to talk to his father why why to be into the presence to be into the relation to maintain a relationship to have a secret talk with his father hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord and this is what we are lacking today brothers and sisters how many of us go into the presence can i ask you confidently can anybody tell me yes i go into the presence to talk to jesus can anybody tell me how many of you go into the presence how many of you go to the feet of the lord how many of you during this 24 hours spend time with the lord how many of you everybody is smiling at me wow amen praise the lord brother brother goes cruise brother goes into prayers amen amen praise the lord sister goes into prayers that is what brothers and sisters this is where we are lacking this is where we are lacking many people fail to raise their hands many people only giving me a smile but let us see what the word of god has to say come into his presence and my second part is with singing now you will be like singing many god is telling me only when i come into the presence i have to sing only i have to sing worship songs only i have to sing hallelujah my entire prayer should be only with singing but no brothers and sisters and that is why i added this to my title come into my presence with singing now what kind of singing what kind of singing god is trying to tell us many of us consider prayers only as praise and worship many many people many people finish their prayers singing and that's it lord i spent this much time at your feet i sang to you that's it but what has the lord spoken to you what have you got from the lord amen praise the lord let us see what the word of god has to say 
Open your Bibles with me to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 to 19. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 17 to 19. Can someone read? Can somebody read? Cruz brother, can you read? 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 17 to 19. Your life 
your movement, your thoughts, what you see, what you hear, what you do with your hands, your feet, everything should be in the word. Hallelujah. That is how, that is how your life will be into praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Like the way, like the way you breathe and you breathe not knowing, you're not conscious about it. You're not deliberately breathing. It happens on its own. That is the way your life should be. Your life should be according to the word of God. That is the explanation of never stop praying. Now, there are some people that never go into the presence of the Lord. There are some people that never go at the feet of the Lord. And there are many of you that are online here. Because when I asked, there were many faces that were smiling at me. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is saying, come into my presence. If the Lord is telling you throughout the day you have to be into prayers, that few time, that time, that secret time, that special time, you know that gupit, gupit ved, that relation, that relation that you have, that intimate relation that you have, that is another moment to be brothers and sisters. That is a different experience only brothers and sisters that you will face, that you will experience when you come to the feet of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And that is what my topic is, come into His presence with singing. With singing, why? Why, why I mentioned singing? Singing will only, worship will only help us come into His presence. Will only help us come into the anointing. But what the Lord has to speak to us, what revolution the Lord has to give us, that we will get only through the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, we are spending our time at wrong places. Today, we are spending our time with wrong kind of worship, wrong kind of prayers, repetitive prayers. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, anybody can repeat any kind of prayer. A, B, C, D, anybody can do. Tomorrow you will, to, tomorrow even a small child will, you know, by heart some kind of prayer. But will that prayer reach God? The Lord said you have to have an intimate relation with me. I'm telling you, there are some special people in your life. Will you go with those same repetitive words to that person? Will you go with that same repetitive words to that special person of yours? In your life, in this world, there will be some special people in your life. Will you go with the same words? They will get irritated. They will be like, what you are coming with me with the same words every day? Same thing is with the Lord, brothers and sisters. Come to the Lord every day with a new prayer, with a new thought, with new words. And today the world has taught us in the wrong way. And today the Lord is telling us, come out from all that worldly prayers. Come out from that worldly places, those worldly places that you go to, worldly, worldly people that you are bowed down to and those wrong kind of worship. Today, the worldly elders have taught us wrong kind of prayers, brothers and sisters. The Lord, the Lord is telling us today, spend intimate time with me. And that is what Jesus used to do. That is what Jesus used to do. Jesus used to go to his father, not with repetitive prayer, Every day, intimate time, different words, words that used to come out from his heart. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us go further. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. At every moment, only be thankful to the Lord. At every moment, every situation. Every moment in your life, if you are in your personal prayer or not in your personal prayer, every moment just give thanks to the Lord. The situation may not be favorable. Give thanks to the Lord. You are in complete problem. You are broken. Give thanks to the Lord. Because the Bible says, at every situation, every circumstances, only give me all the glory and honor. Hallelujah. And that is what Jesus the Way Ministry is doing these days, brothers and sisters. Pastor Francis is going to each and every place. I think you have seen the video, the last video that we uploaded on YouTube. If you, if you don't know, please do subscribe to our channel. 
you will know you will get all the updates pastor had gone on the rocks to pray for all the people and in every situation to only give thanks and praises to the lord very soon our next video will be coming out and this is what jesus the way ministry has started pastor has started going to different places and this is what jesus used to do different places he used to go with his disciples he used to teach them there he used to he used to sit in prayers there he used to share the word there he used to teach them what to speak how to pray how to fast how to spend time with the lord how to maintain a relation and that's why brothers and sisters our next video is going to come out very soon maybe today or tomorrow this is what jesus the way ministry is doing and this is what we are teaching all all the people that are following this church all those who are following this ministry like we are doing you to show going to the presence this is not for any not to make the ministry famous or anything what jesus was doing the same thing the same footsteps we are following he used to go to one one place a silent place to go deep into prayers and then he used to just listen to the voice of the father and all they give him all the glory all the thanks all glory and honor all glory and honor has to be given to him brothers and sisters and that is what we have we are doing that is what we are teaching today to our people and that is what today we have started brothers and sisters hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord let us go to our next next scripture that is daniel chapter 4 was for chapter 4 was 4 to 6 daniel chapter 9 was 4 to 6 daniel chapter 9 was 4 to 6 i'll read it out to you i prayed to the lord my god and confessed listen carefully this is somebody's prayer i prayed to the lord my god and confessed it to my god oh lord you are great and awesome god you always fulfill your covenant and keep your promises of unfailing love to those who love you and obey your commands but we have sinned and done wrong we have rebelled against you and scorned your commands and regulations we have refused to listen to your servants the prophets who spoke on your authority to our kings and prince and ancestors and to all the people of the land hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord brothers and sisters and if you go to see this was the prayer of daniel and daniel was such a person that used to go three times inside into the presence three times he used to go into the presence brothers and sisters and we we go not even once sometimes we go more than three times. but god does not listen to our voice god does not listen to what we are saying because why today our presence is not right today the words that come out from our mouth is not right today when we come at his feet we are not right in our hearts and minds Today, when we come down at His feet, we are not in the right kind of thinking. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And the Lord is not only talking about your personal prayer, your brothers and sisters. Presence meaning everything. Wherever God's work takes place, there the presence of the Lord comes down. Do you believe that? Do you believe that, brothers and sisters? Wherever the Lord's work takes place. even right now i'm telling you the presence of the lord has already taken over it has taken over over here and it has taken over all your houses right now the room that you are present is present in is it is already filled with the presence of the lord hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord you only need to believe it you only need to have faith in it and that's why the lord says wherever my work takes place there is where my presence comes down and this is also when we when we do retreats every sunday or we have special retreats every time the presence of the lord comes down over there 
But what do we do, brothers and sisters? We fail to come into the presence of the Lord. Many of us remain without coming. Many, many of us fail to come into the presence of the Lord. If the time has been kept, if the time is prepared for the presence of the Lord to come down, the presence of the Lord is coming for you people. You need to know that. You need to understand it. If a retreat is taking place, if a service is taking place, when you are calling upon the Lord, where the word is being shared, where the word is being preached, it is for you, brothers and sisters. And the Lord is coming down into that place for you and for me. But what do we do? We remain without coming. What do we do? We get, we get ourselves occupied in all kinds of other work. What do we say? Oh, I am busy today. Today I will remain. Today I will not go. Today I, I will go some other day. I will go next Sunday. I will go some, you know. And that is what we do. We keep postponing. And that is what the Lord is saying, brothers and sisters. Today, that is what the Lord is. And the Lord is pointing out to so many people over here. So many people remain without coming into the presence of the Lord. When there is a gathering, when we are all together, when we all call on the name of the Lord, there is so much power and anointing into that place. Everybody is worshipping, everybody is glorifying, everybody is calling upon the name of the Lord. The word is being preached there and we remain without coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I'm telling you, Satan is blocking your road. Satan is creating a block in your road. Satan is not allowing you to come. Satan knows that something is going to happen over there. Satan knows your breakthrough is present there. Satan knows your blessing is there in that place. And what do we do? We remain without coming. We remain without going. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you brothers and sisters, whatever is the situation, whatever block comes in that time, listen to the voice of God. Listen to the voice of God that time. If He's calling you, come. If He's going to come down, if He's going to bring His presence down there, it is for you and me. 2000 years back, Pentecost day, when they all called out to, when they all called out with that one voice, they cried. That's the time the power of the Holy Spirit came down and filled each one of them. Not a single person went empty and at home. That is the type of cry God wants from us. That is the type of prayer God wants from us. That is the type of heart and mind and thinking God wants from you. What the Lord is saying, you fail to come into my presence. I have kept a day prepared for you, but you fail to come into my presence. This month, my brothers and sisters, 20th, 21st, 22nd, there are three nights of crusade. Big crusade. Big, big crusade. The Lord has decided these three days. It is up to you now, brothers and sisters, if you want to come. Mighty presence of the Lord that day. Mighty, mighty, mighty anointing that day. But it is up to you. What do you want? You want to sleep? You want to have your seven or eight or nine hours of complete sleep? Or you want to come into the presence? It is up to you, brothers and sisters. It is up to you. What is your heart? What is your mind? And what kind of thoughts? What is coming first? What is your priority? What is your priority? Some people will be like, Oh, it is a jakni ba. No, I will not go. It is up to you, brothers and sisters. What is with the place? I am telling you, what is with the place? Any place is infected or any place is dirty on this world? In this, in this world? The entire world, this entire earth is created by our Lord. It is created by those holy hands. Can you tell me, man, when man has said that the place is not right, will, it, will, that place be, will that place be infected or that place will be not right? The presence of the Lord is coming down there. It is our holy, holy, holy Lord is going to come down there. Pray what, what if man has given a name? That's what today we are following man, what they say, what name they give. And that's what today we are backward. 
And that's why today God, you know, God also treats us the same way. He looks at our heart. How do we take Him? They go along with the name. Oh, it is at that hall, no? If I go there, somebody looks at me, they will give me a name. But you know those three nights, what is going to happen over there? So much powerful anointing is going to come down and change everything. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't follow man today, brothers and sisters. Follow what the word of God has to say. And today the Lord is telling each one of you today, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of you, 10 of you are connected. And if you 10 are connected today, God is speaking to you. Today God is speaking to you. I'm calling you. I'm calling you into my presence. Don't remain without coming. Don't remain without coming. If I am going to bring down my presence, I'm going to bring it down for you. Because you are special to me. Because you are important to me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And look at the prayer of Daniel, brothers and sisters. Oh Lord, you are great and awesome God. Look at the worship of Daniel. Look at the worship of Daniel. And look at our worship. Repetitive, same prayers. Ratta Mar like something that we have studied from some book, some book that is removed from the world, something our, you know, our today our worldly elders have given us some book. We open that book and we read those prayers and we repeat those prayers and we by heart those prayers. I'm telling you, God is not even listening at those prayers. Those boring prayers, God is not listening to. But look at the prayer of Daniel. O oh Lord, you are great and awesome God. You always fulfill your covenant and you keep your promises of unfailing love. God always keeps his promise of unfailing love. But today, are you going to keep your promise? Are you going to keep your promise? Are you going to come into the presence of the Lord? Or are you going to remain without, without praying? I'm telling you, if there are no prayers, there is no relation. There is no relation, there is no presence. If there is no presence, there is no Holy Spirit. And if there is no Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, there is nothing in us. How much we call out to Christ, however much we call out to Jesus, if all this is not there, then we are nothing, brothers and sisters. We are nothing. The root of our life should be praise. The root of our life, the root of Jesus' life, any disciple, any disciple, be it Moses, be it Daniel, be it anybody, Jonah, everybody spoke to the Lord. Everybody. You know why? Because why this world was coming to attack them. Their enemies were coming to attack them. And if they needed a solution, it was only through Jesus. And they would only listen to the voice was through prayers. You know, it is shocking, brothers and sisters, that many followers also don't pray. You know, many followers also don't pray. You will say, I am working. I get tired. I'm telling you, Jesus worked more than us. Jesus' disciples worked more than us. Today we have transport days to go on feet to one place to another. It is a shame actually. It is a shame that today many followers also. Followers, can you tell me how many of you pray? Followers, how many of you pray? One hand up. Followers. How many of you pray? Look, you can see for your own selves. How many are praying, how many don't pray? It is really, it is really, you know, we say we are followers. Followers of whom? Christ. Christ used to not behave like that. Christ used to not be like that. At whatever situation, first, before doing anything, Christ used to run to his father. First, Christ used to run to his father. And this is what we are lacking today, brothers and sisters. That's why today we are in situation, today we are in problem. Today we, are, we don't know how to come out of that situation. Because why we lack the voice of God. When we go to the Lord, the Lord will give us a solution. The Lord will give us an answer. The Lord will tell us how to tackle our problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us go further. But we have sinned and done wrong. Look at Daniel. Daniel becomes humble and says, Lord, we have sinned. I have sinned. I have done wrong. Today we don't even confess. 
Today we don't even say that we are wrong. Today we don't even go at the feet of the Lord and say, Lord, I have done wrong. I have sinned. We don't become humble. We don't become small. We, every time a prayer has to have these things, brothers and sisters. We need to confess to the Lord. Lord, forgive me. Today I have spoken bad about somebody. Lord, forgive me. Today I have thought wrong about somebody. Lord, forgive me. I have spoken bad about somebody. Lord, forgive me. Today I, I fail to come at your feet. Lord, change me. Change the way I think. Change the way my life is today. Lord, I am not able to give you time. Lord, help me to come into your presence. Lord Jesus, if not, not five or ten, Lord, if not for an hour or half an hour, at least let me start with five minutes, ten minutes. But Lord, you teach me. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, give me that wisdom. Lord, give me that knowledge. Lord, I want to know your word. I want to grow deeper and deeper inside you. Spiritually, I'm stuck. Spiritually, I'm not growing. My life is where it is. Some people 
they come online on Zoom, but they fail to come in the retreat place. You know why? Their people will see me. They will tell my village people. They will tell my family that I'm coming there. You're on Zoom. Nobody can see me, no? I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, today it is up to you. You're going to fear your man, or you're going to be a slave of man, or today you want to you want to follow Jesus. Today you want to follow your master. Today you want to follow your creator. Your creator has kept good for you. Your creator wants to give you. Your, the creator is only saying, come to my feet. Come at my feet. Come into my presence every time. Be it your personal prayer. Be it in a gathering. Be it whenever it is called. Be the first one to come into the presence. There are some people that are not able to come. There are some people that are not, you know, from Goa, they are not able to come for the gathering. But you know, so much, so much they want to come. And there are people who are in Goa and don't come. Brothers and sisters, you all are missing it. You all are missing the presence, you all are missing the anointing. You all are missing what God has kept for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, let us go further. We have refused to listen to your servants, the prophets, who spoke on your authority to our kings and prince and the ancestors and all the people of the land. Today we have refused Lord to listen to you. Today we have refused Lord. We have refused your commandment. We have refused to come to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Even the Zoom retreat brothers and sisters, this was meant for whom? Not for pastor. Pastor was not doing the Zoom retreats for him. But it was for all of you. But very, very few people get connected over here. Very, very few people. Very, very few people. Very, very few people don't want to listen to the word because why? The word is only like that. Everybody wants prophecy, healing, deliverance, messages, but nobody wants to listen to the word of God. The Lord is saying, first come into my presence. First listen to my word. First listen to my call. First listen to my voice. Listen to what I am teaching you. Don't see who is preaching or what they are preaching and why they are preaching and what topic they are preaching on. Don't question them. Don't overthink about it. But listen carefully to each and everything that I am preaching to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Many of us go to see Ari who is going to come today. Will pastor come? And if pastor does not come, everybody leaves and goes. People, they will connect. You see, pastor is there. Oh, pastor is not there. We will leave and go. The Lord is saying what? Come into my presence. It be it pastor or anybody, it is me that is doing the work. It is me that is speaking through their mouth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's why the last scripture let us go to is Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Stacy read Mark chapter 11 verse 24. If you can read, you read. Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Can you read Mark chapter 11 
no human being, no power, no, no power of money. However much they use the power of money, they use minister's power, authority power. I'm telling you, whatever power is present on this earth is nothing compared to the power that is present in the heavenly kingdom. Hallelujah. No power on this earth is higher than the power that is present in the heavenly kingdom. And today, when you call upon the heavenly powers in your prayers, that power will be released in your life. Hallelujah. Every power, every situation, every closed door will be open of yours in the name of Jesus. Whatever you ask for in prayer. But mind it, brothers and sisters, you have to come into prayers. The Lord has said, when you ask it to me in prayers, in prayers, you have prayers meaning you will have to come into the presence of Jesus. You will have to come into the presence, into the anointing, into the Holy Ghost with the power of the Holy Spirit. And everything will change in the name of Jesus. Because you are calling the powers, the authority of the heavenly kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's why today, brothers and sisters, today Jesus the way ministry. Today, Jesus the way ministry is praying for all of you. All of you that are connected with this ministry. All those who are not connected also, maybe they were they may be busy in their work or something or the other. They may not, they were they may it was not possible for them to come online. But today Jesus the way ministry is praying for all of you on behalf of Pastor on behalf of all the team members today, today and from now on, like I told you, we have started going to different places, different places, only to remain into the presence, a secret place, to have a secret time with the Lord. And why, why, why did Jesus go to different places? To pray for His people. And that's why today we are praying for all of them that are connected with this ministry. All of you, today, whoever are connected on Zoom, whoever watches on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all of them that attend our retreats on Sundays, all of you are going to keep in prayers. And so, word is being preached, brothers and sisters. At least a small seed sow into your life. A small seed. A small, small, very tiny seed. Do not allow that seed to be taken by the evil one. I'm telling you, as you grow, every time the word is preached, and you sow a small seed into your life, your life will blossom. In the coming days, your life will blossom. Your life will give the best fruit, the best blessings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, come to the feet of the Lord. Come to the feet of the Lord. Be it in your personal time. Be it in the gathering. Be it during the Sunday retreats. Be it the night crusade. Whenever it is, be the first one to come into the presence of the Lord. And whatever you ask Him, no authority on this earth will be able to take it away. And the promise, believe it, have faith that the promise is already fulfilled in your life. It is already fulfilled in the name of Jesus. It is already declared and it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. In the coming days, in the coming months, in the coming years, you are going to be fruitful and you will see the fruit of your prayers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And this is, I am done with the word of God, brothers and sisters. A short word of God. A short word of God. And we are done with the Zoom retreat. Today's Zoom retreat is going to be holy this much.